Hey guys, uh, another vlog, and this time it's not going to be as serious as the last two. It's more of something I thought up a couple of nights ago. Um, as you know, I'm a bookworm, and well, not as you know, but usually I just read a lot of books, as opposed to like one of these days I'll do some sort of book tour, but that's for another video, and it'll take a long time. So. I was thinking about the, doing this vlog at work uh, a couple of nights ago. So, um, here we go. Uh, I was on my break, just on my phone, looking at the TV tropes, the Nightmare, Nightmare Fuel page, and I was looking at the literature section, and I was scrolling down, and I saw this one book, which actually made me flash back to grade two, and it actually like made me want to do this certain vlog just to talk about it you know something different other than you know movies or music videos or introversion and depression and all of that so it's like this book I remember when I was in the second grade our class actually one day in second grade our class gathered around the teacher who was sitting in a rocking chair and she had this certain book that I'm going to talk about in her hand. And I was kind of a little bit scared of this book because what was because the cover of it kind of frightened me and I was like, "Oh god, please, I don't want to ever read or hear about this book cuz the cover's scary." But it was against the blackboard and I'm like, I, "Now I have to look at it all day and I'm going to be kind of scared." And so the teacher gathered us around in front of her. She was in a rocking chair, or a wooden chair, I forget. And we were all, like, seated uh, in front of her. There were 30 of us. Some of us were in front of her, others were in the back. I was pretty much in the middle. And uh, she took out the book I was scared of, and she said, Okay, now we're going to read a book called A Bad Case of Stripes. And my reaction was, No! Nobody heard. Nobody heard. I don't think anybody actually, I don't think anybody in the entire class heard this, but I'm pretty sure like a couple of people surrounding me um, heard me. It, was, it wasn't It was loud, but I was like, no. And I actually had to end up uh, ducking my head uh, just to look at the back of a classmate's shirt the whole time she was reading. Now, for those of you who don't know this book, uh, A Bad Case of Stripes is about a young girl whose favorite um, food or snack are lima beans. And because of this pressure about her friends thinking that she's weird, um, about li she thinks that her friends might think it's going to be weird to like lima beans, so she pretty much stops. And for some reason, one day she wakes up and she's covered in stripes. Like, it's a rainbow, like, rainbow stripes. And apparently, like, she's fine, like, she's fine inside her body. Like, she's completely normal. Like, she's healthy enough to go to school, but the school pretty much sends her, I think the school sends her back because they might think that she's contagious. And, uh, at one point, I think she turns into, like, she, uh, has instead of stripes during the, um, the national anthem she has a face that represents the colors of the American flag and um, at one point she just turns into a room because one day the school just sends her home and she's in bed and one day she's just her entire room like not not her bot like her whole body is the entire room like her bed is I think her the her eyes are on the wall and her mouth is on the bed and thinking about it is pretty much straight up body horror which is something I like and looking back on it I think it's really strange considering like this scared me but I would read Goosebumps I would watch Goosebumps and I ended up like several times way before this when I was like in grade one I watched Ghost on VHS and that didn't scare me and there were a lot of scary moments that would traumatize me as a kid. But that never scared me. And knowing how much I like horror now, thinking about that is like thinking about a bad piece of stripes and how it like scared me 
actually was like, oh my god, this is actually a bit, a bit terrifying because this was kind of before I grew into the horror thing, as you can see. But I'm not much of a horror guy as opposed like as opposed to that Adventure Time thing uh, poster I have behind me and the regular show thing uh, poster I have, and the fact that I do comedy and it's not a horror show. But I digress. Um, so the whole time. Uh, the teacher was reading us, reading to us this, what I consider the most terrifying book I've ever uh, heard. I was hearing the words, but I was too scared to look at the picture. She was showing the picture while she was reading, and I was just too busy looking at the back of the shirt of my classmates. Thankfully, my teacher didn't um, call me out on it, and neither did anybody else. And um, it was actually kind of uh, like... I was actually kind of shaking, like, I was scared. What she was describing was straight up, again, body horror. Because it just, it's a it's a children's book, but it is technically body horror. Like, when it gets to the bed part. So, like, one day, like, I, I didn't know what to think after this book. Like, I was kind of terrified for a couple of nights. I didn't think I would sleep. Uh, when I got home at night, like I was kind of, after the next couple of days, after the teacher read us that book, the book would just sit on that um, against that blackboard, just staring at me in the face, and I was kind of like, oh man, it's still there. Can't you just put it away so I wouldn't have to look at it? And so yeah, for the next couple of nights after that, I was afraid to go to sleep. Like it's like nighttime and my parent, my dad's like okay time to go to bed I'm like I'm too scared because I'm thinking about that book what if I have nightmares I don't remember if I had nightmares but you know I trauma usually makes the most like the best of us forget things so um one day I just decided to conquer my fear of this book because I like I love books way too much back then I still do now and I will in the future when I move out of, like, when I move to another house and I have a whole entire room dedicated to my books, because quite frankly, there are too many books in my room right now. And again, that book tour will be coming eventually. It's just going to take, it's just going to take the next four years to get all my books together. So, <laughs> um, one day, I decided, you know what, I have to conquer this fear of a book, and so. On the night of the open house, there's like, for those of you who kind of forget about elementary school or high school, open house is like a night where the parents of the kids going to the school go around the school and go to their, their children's classrooms to get a feel about what the classes, the classrooms are like, what the teachers are like, what their friends are like, the interactions with each other. It's, uh, and the parents meet each other's parents and the kids feel a lot more awkward and it's a lot more strange to be at school in the night because you're so used to it in the day. Unless you're a teacher, in which case it's like second nature because you're like if you're a teacher, you're there after school. So um, I decided during this open night when I was in the second grade, I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this uh, book. Now I already knew. I already heard the story, I just needed to look at the pictures, because I never looked at the pictures because I was so terrified of it. And so, thankfully, it was like, my dad was there, and my sister was there, I think, and a whole bunch of people were in the classroom, I decided just to go for it. And I looked at, I conquered my fear, and looked at every single picture of this book, just to relieve my fear of this book, so it wouldn't have to hold on me for the next for the rest of the year because this book like um when my teacher was reading this book this was a new book 1998 this was pretty new so i'm like this new this book can't get to me so i just read every single like looked at every single picture of this book and my heart was pounding because i was so scared and I was terrified because um, every time I look at the page, I just look at the peak slowly and then I look at it uh, just to look at it fully and then breathe. Look at it and then just breathe. 
and then look at it for a, like half a minute and then just turn the other page and by the time I was finished my heart was pounding and then it slowed down and I was like yes I I did it I actually did conquer this a bad case of stripes book yes I'm kind of scared of it I'm kind of a little bit nervous about looking at the cover and I thought to myself I know I'll read this eventually again but I never did because I was off reading other books like Nate the Great and uh, Goosebumps the the former I don't know what happened to it because I was too scared to go to the library and ended up just keeping the book Nate the Great and the Pillowcase oh, look, I forgot what it was it was an overdue library book there was a book that scared me in the library and I was too afraid to go back so I ended up keeping it I don't have it anymore really sad really but yeah I just wanted to put that VLAG out I just wanted to put this, v, this, this video out there just because it seemed like uh, something completely different other than the content I usually put out you know movie, movie reviews, music video reviews live stream live streams um I don't know I just want to put that out because that seemed kind of different so eventually I will um go back with that book like I'll find that book and I'll read it to conquer my so-called fear and uh, my phone is ringing right now so um I'll see you in another vlog probably Maybe I'll talk about the time I was too scared to read The Witches because the illustrations were very scary to me. And yet I can get through the movie fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I probably will do that. Mm, Zoom. See ya.